horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were taken the wrong. So check it out, this is the bathroom wall. This one little wall has got a really gnarly shape and it has 11 different cutouts that you can't see very well. But there's plumbing, there's wiring, there's all kinds of stuff here. This is where all the power comes together. So I made this, uh, this template out of tar paper and duct tape and uh, I really don't think there's any three-year-old around that could do a better job than that, huh? Well, the tile turned out fairly well. It's uh, I still need to go over it with cheesecloth to get the grout off of here. Um, so it's a little dingy looking, but you can see for the most part. These, these are glass tiles. They're pretty light also. Um, I have tile in my house. I bet you this entire shower probably weighs in terms of tile probably weighs about as much as maybe four of the tiles I did on the their uh, porcelain tiles that I did on the floor of my house so glass tile I hope they'll work out okay in a bus but stay tuned and then I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do here with this sink here I've got it roughed in and then that's for the urinal also over there so that's got its own trap I was gonna do this I put tile on the side and this is a piece from the, the kitchen counter where I cut out for the sink. But this is too wide. This is the way it is here. This is too wide. Um, it looks good on paper but with the toilet in there you, you'd have to be really skinny and small to be able to use the toilet comfortably otherwise your shoulders are going to be hitting the sink the way I did it. So or the way it is that wide so I don't know I'm gonna have to maybe get a tiny little 10 inch sink or not sure what to do so here's uh, what the finished bathroom looks like there's this sink I got um, at an antique place it was actually pretty cheap but it's an antique it's got this little pump here it's so old it used to be you'd pump the water into the basin here wash your hands and but it, the nice thing is that it fits perfectly in here and I don't know I think somebody probably later drilled this hole so I got a fixture that is a one hole fixture it works out pretty good and then I've got the urinal here which is magnetic and this wall is metal right there so you just pull it down when you need it and I need it a lot and there's the toilet it comes up here and I turned this into a cabinet so here's where the the vent for the toilet goes up through up through here piece of brass I had a scrap piece of brass I thought it would look nice there need to polish it a little bit but uh, the shower this is actually my nicest shower that I have it's a nice shower um, also, it's nice. I put this kind of as an afterthought. I can't really see it. It's, uh, it's overcast today. The light's not very good. But I've got that divot there where the window used to be, and uh, which is nice. I, I left it like that because your shoulder kind of my shoulder kind of fits in there when I'm taking a shower, and it makes the shower feel bigger than it really is. But you don't feel cramped in that shower at all, even though it's a little bit small. I like it. It's nice. See me cause you were living in your 
mind. Well, here's the perfect place to watch time pass. It moves so fast. If you're just waiting to die, waiting to die. And I was born in May, and I will live until I don't want to. There are things you can believe, but mostly I just try to. Whoa. So I'm installing uh, this floating floor in the front area here, in the kitchen area. And this is the last of my flooring. And so the bus of living space is basically going to be done when I'm done with this. Um, still got to do cabinets. This piece of cardboard is where the cabinet's going to go. It's going to be about like that. And as far as using a floating floor, it seems like a really good solution in here because if I ever have to take this floor up for any reason this is just it, it all snaps together you can pretty easily take it back apart if you want to there's no nails no glue so see this tab here so you want to be um, when you put a plank down you want this tab to be ready for the next plank and similarly this it's, it's not really showing up here but on this side there's a little groove here and so if I'm putting my first piece down, um, I would want to put it over on this end, right? So this tongue is ready for the next plank, and this, this edge with the hook is ready for the next one. So put this stuff in. Um, lay it down, and kind of put it in at an angle like this. And, you want to hook this, this lip in over there like that and make sure it's snug against there. So now it's kind of hanging there at an angle, which is fine. Um, and you take a piece of, just a piece of scrap stock. And this is such that the, the groove of the scrap fits under this end. And now I'm just going to bang it forward. And as I bang it forward, it pops down as it engages in the hook. So you're banging this way, not down. Once it's in, you can kind of give it a couple of whacks, make sure it's good. It's the wild cat of Mumble Mountain. He just started showing up one day. He's a stray, but he doesn't seem to have ever been domesticated because he's terrified of people. He'll sit there by the front door here and watch if I come over he's gonna run away. He's gonna wait for me to put food down and then he's gonna come back. So he's gonna stand right there until I get to open the window. Off he goes. Hey, what's up buddy? <laughs> There's somebody shooting a gun up here in the wild hills. It's going buddy, your kitty kitty. He's gonna stand right there till I shut the door and then he'll come back. Kind of a pretty cat, isn't he? Mm-hmm.